Thank you very much. I will read a brief statement and also take a very few questions. Today, the Politburo met and received five reports. First report was on Zimaset, and the report was given by Minister Joram Gumbo. Then we received the disciplinary appeals and the review committee uh, of the Central Committee report. This report was presented by Vice President Peleke Zelam Poko, who chairs this appeals committee. We also received the National Disciplinary Committee report. This report was presented by Comrade Patrick Chinamasa, who is uh, the Secretary for Legal Affairs in ZANU-PF, and he chairs this committee. Then we got a report on the preparations for the 16th National People's Conference, which this year is going to be held in Masuingo province. And I gave that report. And the final report was uh, given by Comrade Sevia Kasukwere, and, uh, who heads the commissariat, and this is the commissariat report. Under the Zimaset, the report mainly de dwelt with the transport infrastructure and they stated the many roads that are being rehabilitated, especially regional trade corridors. These include the now completed Plum Tree Harare Mutare stretching for 825 kilometers. Bait Bridge Harare. This is expected to cost $2.7 billion, and the, and the resources are being put together under the public-private partnership, triple P. Feasibility study for Bight Bridge, Bulawayo, Victoria Falls, and Harare Nyama Panda are now underway. These will also be embarked upon on a triple P arrangement. Harare International Airport. The runway of the Harare International Airport is being rehabilitated and the progress is at 65% as we speak. JM Como Airport. This airport is being upgraded continuously and the equipment is already on site. The Victoria Falls Airport is also complete and the work is now in progress to convert the old terminal to a domestic terminal building. The Disciplinary Appeals Review Committee of the Central Committee. The Appeals uh, Committee has been sitting and has reviewed several cases. In total, 25 cases were heard which resulted in the expulsion of one member, while 14 cases of two-year suspensions were upheld and will run until completion in December 2016. Names of all affected members will be released as soon as the party has notified those members. The Appeals Committee still has 27 cases to review in the coming sittings, and this will mark the, case, the end of all the cases of individuals who have appealed to the Appeals Committee. The National Disciplinary Committee report. The committee has met and deliberated on several disciplinary issues. These include the expulsion of eight members of the party, uh, uh, expulsion of eight members of the party and the, and the one had his suspension lifted. You tell us about the expulsion today and say you will inform them tomorrow there is a letter to be sent. If you are expelled, you are expelled. Then they must hear it from radio, from papers tomorrow that they are gone. Rather than you sending a letter. Oh, but it's... Uh... Nyango <laughs> 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 
But Joru do the Nasha she repaired the Gata. I can confirm, yes. But we still have to be procedural so that we follow procedures. And we even gave him an opportunity to defend himself. He came. He came. And he said, bye. And uh, uh, he was confronted with the facts, and uh, he could not defend himself any further. So he is no longer a member of ZANU PF. He can now elect to choose people of face or any other party. So we are going to have a by election in that constituency. How about the other little noisy ones at this two ten province? Those have also been confirmed and Where they are no those? longer. Why not loud one? The yeah. loud one. <laughs> Probably would want to know the which loud one. Which, which are your loudest ones? Just give us a loud one. No, the chairpersons are, the, 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 their issues, will, the three chairpersons will be looked at uh, next week. But. Uh, so which problems is that? But, uh, but we can also confirm that Headman Moyo, Victor Matema Danda, Douglas Mahia, and Francis Nando are out. They are no longer members of Zambia.